Hi everybody, good morning, it's Ann. How you doing? No, I never grew up in the region that uses that particular accent, that's okay. I just know a few people who did, sort of, kind of, in a way. I just like to play with noises. Anyway, we are starting with the 60 year old mug. It has been moisturized. It has been sunscreened. It has been sprayed with my Apto stuff. I've done a little update on this. I love it. Okay? It's actually seeming to me to make a difference in my skin texture. I am thrilled. I am going to keep using it. When it's empty, I will buy more. Another short update. Now, how my skin looks in any of the video or pictures that I do, sometimes it looks a little better than one might think it should. I'm not using filters. I'm correcting my lighting and correcting the color because to me a lot of times what's on the film does not look like the color I see when I'm sitting here. So I try and fix that. I don't go crazy and use the filters and stuff. Sometimes I go a little bit overboard with doing the quote-unquote clarify thing on my editing program but and then I come out looking shiny and 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 smooth and like serious case of pinup photography. Most of the time, though, it's just I try to get my lighting correct, yeah, that kind of stuff. I try not to go overboard. Anyway, what I'm doing today is a full face of Wet n Wild. Starting off with the Wet n Wild spray that can be used as a primer, a fixer, a refresher. And this one happens to be in the rose scent. Just because I happen to like the rose scent and that was what they had the most of at the drugstore when I went to go get it. And most of the rest of the new scents were like phew, gone. Anyway. Yep, spray it on, smell good, and then I kind of rub it around a little bit to make sure I've got it everywhere. Now I've got two choices for my foundation. I can either use the bottle that I've got that's, you know, basic standard bottle that I've been trying to use up, or I can use the stick. I've got one of each. Now this has taken me months to collect everything. It really has. I'm like, I don't buy huge loads of one brand of makeup to do a full face video. I just, I don't have that kind of budget. So, it's taken me a while, but I now have enough of the Wet n Wild, and I believe I've got enough of the Elf. That'll be a different film, but I believe I've now got enough of the Elf to do everything from primer up. So, we shall see what happens. 
Sometimes I do my eyes first. Sometimes I do my foundation first. Today is going to be a foundation first. Now I've also got myself kind of a new setup. I've got my camera in a different position. I've got my new mirror. Lovely new mirror. See? New mirror. New mirror on a stand. So I'm not like picking it up and holding it in front of me. So that you can't see behind the mirror. Hopefully this will work out better. And we shall see what happens. Now. I want you to remember, if you're somebody my age or thereabouts, you really don't want a really thick foundation. If you look at my face, look at it really good. I've got little fine lines. I've got multitudes of lines in here that you can see if you know you're close enough and I pull just a little bit you can see all these fine lines in here heavy thick foundation will settle right into those lines whether you like it or not so it doesn't really help you any at all to get to go after what we might have in our younger days when we were you know trying to be all of that and cover pimples and whatsoever it's kind of like the same reason I no longer do things like baking under my eyes because my eyes the, un the skin under my eyes is very thin and very crepey and you can see all these little lines and if you do the baking thing you end up with not only the um, concealer under your eyes but all that powder and it just builds up and it gets right into those creases so that's one thing that you don't really want see I'm not putting I'm just like going dab there's not a lot of foundation going on here that's my little dog sneezing And sneezing and being wheezy he's not a youngin anymore so plus when we decided when I decided to do this changing camera setup we ended up moving some furniture around and I've been kind of sneezy too cuz you know kicks up dust that kind of thing he's a dust bunny chaser so anytime there's a dust bunny he must go find it hush yes I'm talking about you hush Finny hush little Finny oh pitiful thing he's being pitiful I'll be back in just a second. I want to go see what making some pitiful. Sorry about that. The doggy decided he needed to go out. And as soon as he decided, the other doggy decided she needed to go too. So, they're currently with their daddy. Anyway, yes, I look a bit less than dressed. I've got on a cami because it's warm in this room oh dear got to fix the curtain see Cammy. aha 
it is warm in this room. There's still snow on the ground, but it is warm in this room. What can I say? Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Finished putting the foundation on. It doesn't... It's got just a little bit of tack to it, but I don't think I'm going to need to powder it. Just in case, though, I have my powder. Then I have contour. And all that lovely stuff. I'm going to work on my eyes now. So that if I get fallout, which I don't normally get with this particular palette... This one is the Wet n Wild Rosé in Air. I don't normally get fallout with this one, but if I do, I've only got to fix a little bit of foundation. No, I have not put concealer under my eyes. Because I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I'm just that way. I've got foundation under my eyes. I'm thinking that's enough. I get very minimalist now and then. Now, I've got the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. Yay! Some people like it. Some people don't. I happen to think it's pretty good. I really like my AOA Studio White Eyeshadow Primer that I've been using, the White Concealer. But, this is a Wet n Wild show. So, let us do our Wet n Wild show. And no, I haven't put any eyebrows on. I have not put any eyebrow pencil on yet. I will get to it. Between all the stuff I've got, including the eye moisturizer and stuff, get my little pill up here. Oh well. Alrighty. Yes, like I said, I was getting some pilling across the eyelid, and then the honey bunny husband brought the puppies back in and gave them their treat, so I took a little break on the film for a second and let's see now wet and wild yes wet and wild yeah eyebrow pencil it's one of the ones that's got the triangular face to it this one is my second favorite. My absolute favorite is my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. Love my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. However, this is a wet and wild day. So, ever since I started using the uh, the Rimmel lash serum stuff well actually I started with the grand because I got a sample in a box and then since the grand is like 65 bucks for a full size 
and I wasn't going to pay that. I picked up the Rimmel at seven bucks, and I now have eyebrows, so I don't do as much fiddling with my eyebrows as I had been doing. So there we have it, the eyebrows. Now let's see what I can do with the rest of the eye. And get my brushes up here. Get my part over here. Yes, like I said, I've been rearranging things, so Now, like a lot of the other palettes and products that Wet n Wild uh, does, there are numbers, not names, for the shades. I have started Increase with number 10, which is this one down here. Now, it's marked as a transition and that's basically what I'm doing with it. It's just a kind of nice caramely color. And I'm just kind of outlining and filling in where this cotton picking section of eye that gets folded in goes and the top edge of this is kind of what becomes my new crease I have very hooded, very crepey eyes. Now, see, you can see all the loose skin up here. You can see it move a lot if I just put the brush down. Both eyes do that. I have several different issues going on here. One, I'm 60. Creepy eyes goes with the territory. Two, I've always had hooded eyes. As you get older, they get droopier. If they get much droopier, I'd actually have to have my eyelids um, surgically adjusted so that I'd be able to see. I mean, you can see how far down these come now. If I'm looking straight at you, there's not a whole lot of eyelid you're seeing on the mobile lid. If my eyes are closed, it's not so bad. Eyes open, we got a lot of droop going here. The other problem with all the loose skin I used to weigh 450 pounds. I am now under 300 pounds. Don't congratulate me. It just, that's the way it is. Um, as a matter of fact, there are some things about being less weight that that is actually more aggravating because when I was at 450 pounds, everything was round and firm and high and smooth and at under 300 pounds I've got droops and sags and bags and stuff and loose skin where I never expected to have it and really don't want it anyway some of this loose skin is because of the weight loss that's why I've got this droopy stuff here ha ha so 
let us get back to my eyeballs. And I will pick up the next color that I'm intending on putting on my eyes as soon as I find the brush again. There. Different brush. Smaller brush. I'm going to use this one. Okay. We've got some really nice colors in here. The one I'm going after is this one. Now, in the way they've got the palette set up, this would be number seven, apparently. I think. No. Number three. I get confused because it's it's the opposite. It's number seven. It's it's the thing on the back is opposite. Now that looks pretty much like a chocolate brown, but it's actually got a lot of red to it. I I don't like the deeper pinky one that was below it as much. Let's see, it's got a lot of red to it. And it picks up very pretty. Put a little bit right there to help with deepening up and tying the shades together in the outer seven or outer V, depending on how you want to call it. Everybody's got their own thing. And then I'm dragging that one down under the eye. I'm going to let it smoke just a little bit. I don't want to get too crazed. Well, at least not yet. I'll pick it up more later. Do the other side. Come in on that first third of the mobile lid. Keep working that corner a little bit so that it's got a little shape to it and not just a blob. Come in about the same depth on this side as I did on that side. Love it, love it. No, my eyes are not even. I will even this up in a little bit. The droop is different between the eyes. So, yeah, I don't end up with precisely the same shape on each side, which is a pain in the tush. But it is what it is. See, a couple of swipes, it's a little better, a little closer to the shape. I've also got a scar right in here. When I was a little kid, I caught a rock with the side of my face. Right here. So I have this permanent dimple right beside my eye. which also makes it a little more difficult to get things completely even. This is one thing that I'm using that is not wet and wild. 
this is my homemade water glycerin and toner spritz that I use on my brushes when I'm working with glitters. If this does not make you happy, tough. <laughs> now, first glitter I'm going into is this one down here. And that is number five in this, the way this is lined up. That's number five. It's kind of a, just a brown glitter, no big deal. Basic brush, which is also wet and wild. Not all of my brushes are, but this one is. Put the palette down. Give it a spritz. I'm not going to come over all the way with this one because I've got another lighter shade in here that I intend to take into the inner corner that is also a bit glitzy. It's a little closer to gold. You may have already, <coughs> excuse me, noticed it as the number two shade, second, well, number three shade, second to directly under the bone shade. That one is kind of a little gold shimmer carry this shimmer back just a little bit into that mat yes you must make a face while doing makeup And I kind of go back in, depending on how the, the color lays down, I go back in a little bit and do a little bit of a drag. Not much of a drag, but a little bit of a drag to see if I can increase the foil, you know, the foil appearance. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It also depends on the makeup itself. Some of it will foil beautifully. Some of it just doesn't want to hear about it. Some of it wants you to go back later and use your finger. You do what you do. Anyway, this is the one that's going on to the inner corner. That inner third of my eye. And will get carried a little bit down into the lower lash line also on that inner third do 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 you to remember I'm not a makeup artist I just like playing with makeup if you like what you see go for it just go play with makeup it doesn't matter what brand it doesn't matter expensive cheap whatever it doesn't matter how old you are and honey let me tell you if somebody tries to tell you you are too old for glitter tell them to step off
There is nobody on this planet that is too old for glitter if they want to wear it. That's the word. Now, see where I stopped a little short with the transition shade that I first put on? I carried this up to meet it. And I put that little bit of that shimmer right here on the lower lash line just to drop a little extra color in. Now, until we are finished finished, that does it for the eye look for the time being. Yeah, see, I'm creepy. No, putting eyeshadow on is not going to change the fact that you have your eyes have skin and your skin is going to look like it's going to look. Me, I will put any colors wherever I want just because I'm persnickety. I just am. I'm persnickety that way. I will do what I feel like doing. Some people will look at me and going, you're going to all that work and nobody's going to see it and it's like, I'll know it's there. Which is fine by me. Alright, let's see what we can do with the rest of this mug. Some days I wonder why I bother with this particular part of the contour and stuff since god knows they can still tell my neck is fat but hey it looks a little better in pictures and such and it makes me feel like i'm doing something this is again one of those things if somebody else tells you not to do something because they don't think it's right tell them to step off if they actually know makeup and know what they're doing and want to give you a couple of hints on how to maybe do something a little better, if you want to listen to them, go for it. If they're doing it from a place of really trying to help, let them try. If you decide you don't like what either you're hearing or the way they're presenting it, as in like you don't know what you're doing I can make you look better Tom step off it's not their job to correct you if you're not asking for assistance it's not their business and if they think it is they need to get over way over yonder <laughs> no go to the next yard try there I'm not buying here okay wet and wild bronzer ticket to Brazil not bad it's kind of cute I'm rather fond of it, even though I just got it. I've got several other bronzers, but when I was trying to collect the stuff to do the do the full face thing, I said, yeah, I don't have any wet and wild bronzer. And CVS is currently having a sale, so off I went. Not CVS. Rite Aid. I only have Rite Aid in this itty bitty town. I got... And they took out their Rimmel display. I'm very disappointed in them. 
means I've got to drive 45 miles to the nearest Walmart to get Rimmel. Very annoying. I'm going to take my powder brush and go over this down here with whatever powder happens to be on it right now because it's just looking a little too dark. However, I like that bronzer. It does a nice job of just warming up the face without getting too crazy. Like it, like it, like it, like it. Ugh, got setting spray stuff, primer spray stuff in the front of my hair. Oh well. And yes, yeah, since I did the very first picture on the um, title page, yes, I've had my hair cut. It needed it. I wanted it cut. It needed it. It's getting warm enough and everything that I'm going, yeah, need to get rid of some of the length. Anyhow, that's where I am so far. I shall be right back. Sorry about that. My doggies keep making noises. Anyway. Let's see. Where were we? Just did my bronzer. Let's see. I've got a couple of different blushes. Which one do I want? This one. So there. Okay, this one's kind of an apricot color, kind of peachy apricot-y kind of thing. It's called pearlescent pink. And I'm going pearlescent pink. It's got a bit of an orange cast to it, though. So it's not pink pink. It does, though, have some glitter to it. It's got just a little bit of shimmer. Which... Yeah, some people are not real big on shimmer blush, but I'm not so worried. I kind of like the shimmer and gleam and glow. Again, it's another one of those things. You wear what you want to wear. If you like the gleam and glow and like the shimmer just a little bit, and somebody else has the nerve to tell you you're too old for such things, tell them step off. Just tell them straight up to step off. I don't know what about do that bit. Okay. Work on these eyes just a little bit more. I've got my wet and wild pencil here. Now this one, yeah, it's a little dirty, but it's just a basic pale nude color. You can use it for your eyes, you can use it for your lips, doesn't much matter. But I'm going to go right here on the waterline. Just because doing that little bit of a nude color on the waterline there tends to make your eyes look a little more open. It's just a little more open. Wide open, a little brighter. Works for me. Now, let's see if this eyeliner is still working. Okay, this is the black one. I've also got a brown one. Okay. 
I've had this one for a little while, so I was just hoping that it would have enough to put this little bit of a line behind these lashes. And yes, I took a little bitty line under part of the lower lashes. No biggie. And no, I'm not going to try to... Let me remind you that if you've got very hooded eyes and a lot of crepey skin, yeah, you're going to have problems doing a winged liner. So, yeah, I'm not doing it. To me, it's not worth the aggravation. This is my concentration phase. Anybody who doesn't like my lines, come draw them for me yourself. I'm doing the best I can with shaky hands. No, my hands are not completely steady. I have issues. We have discussed this in some other films. I have health issues that mess with things. So, alrighty. Wet and Wild Mascara. Okay, this is the Mega Protein. It's in the green tube. Yes, this is a very small one. I got it at Dollar Tree. Basically, the ones at Dollar Tree are a sample size. I'm still trying to get used to the fact that my lashes are quite a bit longer than they have been ever. Mm -hmm. 
if I had known about stuff back when I was a teenager that would make your eyelashes grow like this, I'd have done done it because I had puny lashes forever. lipsticks in here. I've got all manner of them. I've got one of the metallic cat suits. Yeah, this one is Life is No Picnic. <coughs> Excuse me. The problem I have though with the metallic cat suits is that the cotton picking thing dries my mouth so much that my mouth goes from looking fairly okay to being all wrinkled up and it's like uh it's nasty nasty let's see which one have i got here blind date this is one of the balm stains this is a very nice nude, uh, nudist colony. See, told you it was a nice nude. Another balm stain. This one is Coral of the Story. And This one's just called Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. And I'm going, uh huh. Let's see what else we've got in here. Um, Pink Sugar, which is a nude. Very nice nude, but it's a nude. And Hot Red. Woohoo, Hot Red. And that looks like it. I've got quite a few lipsticks, but Wet n Wild is one of the ones I pick up real easy because it's over at Dollar Tree. Let's see. Got those browns going on. I could do one of the nudes. Heck, I could do whatever I wanted. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to do this one just because I want to. Line date. Oh my goodness, I haven't even opened this one. That's bad. That tells you how much of a lipstick fiend I am. I just like keep buying them and keep buying them. Fresh one. And no, I'm not putting a lip pencil on. I don't particularly like lip pencils. I don't know why. I've just never really gotten into using them. I've got one that would pro one or two that would probably go pretty well with this color. But not too much worried about it. Okay, last little bit. Last little bit. I have the Golden Flower Crown Wet and Wild Highlight. 
is a pretty kind of a champagne color. Again, like I said, I like to bling. I like to shimmer. And that's pretty shimmery. But I gotta get this finished before I finish losing the natural light. Now see, I've got a couple of little divots in my head right here. So I stick the highlighter in there because, hey, makes it stand out. Doesn't look so flat in there. I keep telling people that's where they cut the horns off. Believe it or not, there's a bunch of people that really do believe that. Yes, I put it right over the eyebrows because it highlights just above the eyebrows and right under the eyebrows. Help to finish up the eye look. Right down the middle of my snoot. It's like, can you see my nose now? Little on the Cupid's bow, little on the chinny chin chin. Yes, I like to call attention to my mouth. I really do. Because my husband's a couple of years older than me. I want to make sure he doesn't need any like extra help to find it. He'll get me for that later. <laughs> Take a little brush and stick this in the corner. Bling it a bling bling bling. And yes, I could do finishing spray and all that other lovely stuff. But I may be filming something else later today. Don't know yet. And it would be a waste of my finishing spray. I don't like to waste my stuff. I really don't. However, this is what we've got. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed your little visit. And be good.